Major Mike spent two tours in Iraq, sniffing for explosives, chasing enemy combatants, and saving the lives of fellow soldiers, only to be shot and killed at his home in Powell, Wyoming. And I lost a great companion. Me and him were healing together. Sergeant Matthew Bessler got Mike when he was just a puppy. The two were inseparable from their time overseas to back at home in Powell. He was my brother. Everywhere I went, he was right there. He was doing his job as a service animal. Both Matthew and Mike were retired from the service due to post-traumatic stress disorder. Bessler adopted Mike after their last deployment and his wartime partner became his service dog as they battled life after combat. He helped me through um, a lot of different, different situations and a lot of different emotional times. Matthew lost his best friend and brother when Mike was fatally shot in the buttocks by a bicyclist. But like any war story, there are two sides. The man who shot Mike believed he was being attacked. I was paralyzed. I was shocked. I'm still in shock. Anger. Sadness. Pain. And now Matthew wants to honor his fellow soldier by giving him a proper veteran burial with military honors. However, retired war dogs aren't entitled to receive military honors, a policy Matthew is hoping to change. He's retired just like I'm retired. I can, I'll receive military honors. I'm a veteran. He's a veteran dog. As he pushes for change, Bessler says he just needs time to grieve. There are a number of other veterans out there that that are looking for dogs and they need them after mike was retired he was promoted to a major and even though he wasn't on the front lines his service never stopped and through the help of a gofundme page over fourteen thousand dollars was raised in less than a week to give him a funeral worthy of a hero alexander lanert k2 news casper